Active Kill Disk provides the user a secure way to delete data from a hard disk drive, a solid state drive, and a USB connected device. When you begin your Active Kill Disk software, you should see your computer and all connected devices along the left hand side of the screen. If you have a device connected to your computer that does not show on this screen, in the upper left hand corner, click Refresh. Select the device you wish to erase. Across the top, click the word Kill. The top portion of this window verifies the disk you wish to erase. Under Erase Method, the free version of Active Kill Disk allows the users to erase data using a one pass with zeros. The pay version allows the user to use a random single pass, US Department of Defense specifications, or even user defined specifications. You may also select the verification option by clicking in the verification checkbox. Under options, we may choose to initialize the disk after the erase, skip the erase confirmation, or save the log and shut down the computer once the process is complete. I will leave the defaults alone and click Start. And I must verify this is my final chance to make sure I am erasing the device I wish to erase and not accidentally erasing something I should not be. So I type Erase All Data, click OK. The length of time it takes for this process to finish is dictated by the speed of the device and the amount of information to be written over. Once the erasing is complete, you get a certificate from KillDisk. This certificate will show you the type of device you erased, when you started erasing, storage size, the erase method, if it worked or not, and when it finished. Finally, you're given the total erase time. You may save or print this document. Another feature of Active Kill Disk is the wipe. If you select a device connected to your computer and choose wipe across the top, you may now select to wipe. Wiping a disk is not the same as erasing it. Erasing a disk will remove all data from a drive. Wiping a disk will only remove the unused data. When you do this, you may also select the same options you had when erasing the disk. You may do a one pass with zeros, one pass random, Department of Defense, and user defined. And also, as you can with kill, you may select the verification option. Let's select our free one pass zero and choose start. Am I sure? Yes, I want to wipe that space on the drive. And don't forget, the length of time it takes to complete this process is determined by the speed of the device and the amount of information being processed. And just like when you do a kill disk, you get a certificate stating what was wiped, when it was started, the method used, successful or not, and how long it took.